Welcome to Revelation Ministries online Bible teaching class. Hello, my name is Kenneth Kicklider. I would like to take a few minutes to introduce to you Revelation Ministries and help you to understand what we're about. First of all, we are an independent ministry. We are a Bible-based ministry and we are a teaching ministry. Now, by independent, I mean that we're not owned nor controlled by any particular denomination or religious group. We are independent in the sense that this ministry is not obligated to anyone but to God. He is the one in charge. He is the one we answer to. He is the one we seek to please, and we give him all the glory for everything that happens in this ministry. By Bible-based, it means that we do not promote any particular denominational doctrine or denominational traditions. We teach according to the tenor of Scripture, not promoting any denominational bias. We are a teaching ministry in the sense that we are here to fulfill the great commission that Christ has given us in Matthew 20. 8, 19, and 20, that we should teach whatsoever things Christ has shared with us in his word. Now, our method of teaching, we're not scholarly. I do have a doctorate degree, but I do not teach out of my education. I teach out of the anointing. Practical theology is simply making sense of how to practice every day what the Bible teaches. In other words, put the message of Scripture in shoe leather. The Apostle Paul kind of said it like this, that when he was teaching, he'd rather speak five words that people could understand than 10,000 words that people could not understand. I'm not trying to impress people from a scholarly standpoint. I just want to help people understand what the Bible is saying to us. Just the other day I spoke to someone and they shared that they had just quit going to church. And the reason they gave was because they just did not understand what the minister was saying. They said, it's just so far over my head. I just don't get it. It doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't mean anything to me. I really just don't get anything out of it. I try and use the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. And that's kind of my motto in this ministry is to keep things simple but yet in depth to where we can understand what the Bible's telling us. Now our goal is to get below the surface of Scripture and get into the meat of the Word. Get down into the true meaning of what God is trying to tell us. And in order to do this, I like to give background. I like to bring in additional information and do what I call framing the scripture, setting the stage. And in other words, instead of just starting in the middle of the scripture, assuming everybody knows what's going on, I like to kind of set the stage so that we understand where we are, uh, what's going on, who's there, what they're saying, why they're saying it, what it means to us. And by framing the scripture and setting the stage, we can begin to see the big picture of the scripture. Now, in order to do this, we must do as Paul told Timothy. We've got to rightly divide the word of truth. We can't take what's over here and make it fit somewhere else. We've got to keep the Word of God rightly divided the way it was given to us. And when we do that, the Scripture makes what I call spiritual common horse sense. Now, the Bible is just like a, a puzzle. Have you ever tried to put one of those thousand-piece puzzles together? Fairly intimidating. But the Bible has over... 31,000 pieces or scriptures. And it's my goal to help you put these pieces together 
so that the Bible harmonizes and makes sense. Now, some of the subjects that I teach on, which I will be teaching on a wide variety of subjects, but just to give you some idea, uh, I love to teach on spiritual warfare. I like to teach about uh, satanic warfare, uh, demon warfare, warfare in the church, warfare of the individual saint. Uh, there's so many types of warfare, so many descriptions, and I like to define what spiritual warfare actually is, how spiritual warfare plays out in everyday life, uh, how things work so that we can understand it. We talk about it all the time, but I run into very few people that truly understand what spiritual warfare is all about. There are numerous levels of warfare. Some don't affect us that much. Others affect us very directly. So when we begin to understand these things, it can make an impact on our uh, life of Christ. I like to teach and preach on practical Christian living. Things that affect us every day are our faith, uh, unbelief, temptation, uh, you know, tithing and giving and works and all of these things that affect our everyday relationship with Christ and our walk with Him. Also, I like to uh, teach Bible prophecy. It's one of my favorites. Two, three, four thousand years ago, God put things in the book that relate directly to us today. So many times people say, Kenny, what is going on? People have just become stupid. No, people aren't stupid. But there's a reason why people are the way they are today. There's a reason why our world is the way it is. And the Bible lays it out very plainly. And there's one of two ways to know the Scripture. Number one, the Holy Spirit gives us direct illumination. Uh, in John 14, Jesus said that He would guide us in all ways of truth and righteousness. He would reveal things us to, uh, unto us. And, you know, the Holy Spirit, it, that's His job, part of His job anyway. And if you don't have that kind of relationship with God then you're in the position that the eunuch was that made a trip to Jerusalem and bought a copy of the book of Isaiah. He was reading it, and he was just stumped. God sent Philip there to him, and Philip asked him, he said, Sir, do you understand what you're reading? And the eunuch replied, How can I understand except some man teach me? And that's part of what my job is and the job of this ministry. It is the goal and the mission of what we're here to do is to open up the scriptures as the Holy Spirit has opened it up to us and illuminated us with understanding. And to be that man and that person that can help you to understand what the Bible is saying. Now, we're not professionals. We don't have a a uh, slick smooth operation that employs a staff or a team. It's just me and God in this studio. I just want to sit here and share the Bible with you as if I was in your own living room. Now, we do have a website that I'd like to call your attention to. Um, do not put the www dot in front of it. Just go to your browser and type in one word, all lowercase, revelationministriesonline.com let me give you that one more time revelationministriesonline.com now at the bottom of our homepage there's a place where you can submit Bible questions or you can leave comments for us we welcome any suggestions as to some subjects or scriptures you'd like for us to expound on or if you have a question about the Bible or spiritual issues that you would like to have answered, send it in to us. We will definitely get back with you with a Bible answer. So what we're trying to do as a main goal is to make this ministry a go-to source for Bible questions and spiritual issues that you might have. 
So if you've got a question that's been bothering you, you never have had it answered or uh, never got a satisfactory answer or a Bible answer, then uh, send us the question and we will do our best to give you a definitive biblical answer. Also on our webpage, we have a donate page if you'd like to help support this ministry. We are a bona fide 501c3 nonprofit registered with the IRS. This qualifies to us to write you a legal tax deductible receipt for your contributions. You can connect with Revelation Ministries on Facebook, YouTube, or our website. Let me give you that web address once again. No www. One word, lowercase, revelationministriesonline.com. Now keep in mind that we are a new ministry. We don't have a lot of content at this time, but we will be adding content on a regular basis. So keep checking us out. Let us know how we're doing. Keep us in prayer. And remember, if you have a question, please submit on our homepage. Feel free to navigate around on our channel and website, and may God richly bless you is our prayer. God bless you.